to catch a killer 2023 man i saw this poster and i saw shailene woodley but then i saw ben mendelson and i lit up i had to get my hands on the copy guys because hey ben mendelson i've loved his career listen love him in captain marvel can't wait to see him in secret invasion so hey i had to snag this up say hey let me go ahead and check this one out and Unfortunately, it was a little disappointing, but guys, welcome into the channel. The name is Leo Rydell, and this is Geekly Goods, and here we talk the latest in the MCU, DCU, and beyond, you all. Today, we are going beyond to talk about the new film, To Catch a Killer, which drops in theaters April 21st, and I gotta talk about this, guys. I got an early screener for this, and let's talk about it, but let's start out with the good things that really work. Starting off with the story, you know, you've got an FBI agent who recruits a police officer to catch a killer who's terrorizing Baltimore. And I like this. I like the FBI agent, and he's the chief investigator. You got the FBI chief investigator with the police officer. They put their minds together to try to find this killer, and I like that dynamic. Now, let's start out with Ben Mendelsohn, who absolutely steals the show. He is the shining light of this movie. He plays a FBI agent who is low-key, who's super like dark and mysterious, but you really enjoy his performance. And as the movie goes on, his vulnerabilities begin to show and he really wants to catch this killer. It's almost like the obsession within him is like the obsession that the killer has. So I think that there's like maybe some sort of comparison going on there, but I do like his dynamic with Shailene Woodley. And I think the both of them when they're together, are good unfortunately Woodley I really liked her character in the first act because I think there's a lot to really look forward to throughout the movie there was this build up in the first act where we get the pairing of the FBI agent and the police officer so you think okay we're gonna get this cool dynamic duo we're gonna see more about Shailene's character and unfortunately I think her character falls flat I think that she she is the main character in this film and I think that she unfortunately loses my interest after about the first act I'm clamoring to get Ben Mendelsohn back on screen. I'm like, let's get Ben back on because unfortunately, Shailene's character just fell flat for me. And so let's talk a little bit about this movie because uh, I have uh, another slew of problems, unfortunately. But I will say it is director Damien Zifron's first English film. So I'm cutting a little slack here, but unfortunately there are just a lot of things that don't quite work out for me. Starting out with the narrative, I think I don't really know what it's trying to say because there is this trying to catch this killer and you know, it gets to a point where maybe there was a little bit of empathy for the killer coming from Shailene's character who was a troubled police officer. I was thinking maybe in some way, shape or form, she was trying to relate to the killer. And I thought that that was just a bit of a weird beat going on there, but it might have been just like Joker, something kind of like a, it, it could happen to anyone on a bad day, you know, on a bad day, anybody could become a villain type of narrative. I wasn't really understanding what it was trying to say with its message, to be honest with you. So that was one issue I had with the narrative. I wasn't understanding exactly what it was trying to say about the killer and the, the people, the police officer and the FBI investigator who were after him. I was just trying to piece to that together and I just couldn't quite figure it out. It's got a really good first act and unfortunately it just does not really hit the highs that the second and third should. So it just kind of falls a little flat by the time we get to the third act and there's some more exciting things happening. I just felt kind of bored by that point. Also, I wanna point out some odd stunt work. I think some of the stunt people move a little bit too early. So like when a gun is shot at someone, the person like moves before the bullet hits them. So there are some weird shots where people are a little early to their reactions. And also I think the, the cinematography is just a little uninspired, something we've seen before. I kind of wonder what this material would look like in the hands of David Fincher. So unfortunately, I was just not the biggest fan of this film. To Catch a Killer, Ben Mendelsohn really put on a show. Unfortunately, Shailen Woodley's character fell flat. The second and third acts fell flat. I was very confused with the narrative, an unmemorable score, a, a screenplay that just was uninspiring. I didn't feel any lines of dialogue, no monologues delivered that really 
stood with me and really stayed with me and were memorable unfortunately it just didn't work out but guys to catch a killer 2023 if i had to give a rating to this movie i'm going with the four out of ten maybe i'm being a little harsh here but unfortunately i just i was not a big fan but hey ben mendelson was great in it and i did like his dynamic between him and shailene woodley throughout most of the film i just think she's the main character and that character fell flat for me but guys you gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments and hey if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button down below baby and we'll see you next time on geekly goods